Hello, and welcome back to Dark Souls. As promised, I returned to the bonfire, rested up, and then uh, stopped recording for the day. But we are back. We're ready to venture forth through Undeadburg and hopefully defeat the uh, boss of the area. But we'll see. Hey, no healing. That's my shtick, not yours. Um, I might be a little bit louder. I rejiggered some of my sound settings. So that it's uh, a little bit easier to hear me over the game. Yeah, so today we're going that way. And, you know, we're going to do the best we can. All right, through the firebombs. Aha, two down. Three down. All right, I can't open this. Yeah. So, as you probably have noticed so far, my memory of this game is pretty good. Um, my plan in playing this is to play through blind, essentially. Um, try not to look anything up if I'm getting stuck or anything like that. Um, but I do have a pretty good memory of this game because I played it once all the way through. Um, and then I've started to play it, like, with some friends of mine on Steam or something like that, uh, once or twice, and then we'd, like, stop. Because we would, you know, find something else that we could play. What are you doing? Alright, getting smashed by a mace. Perfect. That's just what I wanted you to do. So, apologies if it looks like I just know way too much. Uh, apologies if I forget something obvious. You are getting 100% whatever my memory can do. Perfect. Alright. That was almost perfectly executed. Like, what I remember is that you can, like, drop down over there, you can write stuff, but well, there's no item, and there's not really a reason to do that uh, unless you're using it as a, an opportunity to plunge attack one of the hardest enemies you can fight in this initial stage of the game, who's actually currently, like, right underneath me. Aha! Get smashed. Um, residence key. Thank you, shopkeeper, for giving me that key that you probably stole from somebody. It allows me to get lightning. So that is an item I can use to temporarily buff my weapon with lightning. It's uh, pretty cool. Admittedly, I don't use it all that much. All right, you've got a sword, or you got a shield and a spear. That's potentially dangerous. Let's heal up to full. These guys can do a bit of damage if I'm not careful. Oh, okay, that worked way better than I thought it would. 
Oh yeah, I have 2016 souls. That was a year. All right, so yeah, that that is accurate. So down here we have a black knight. These are tough enemies, to say the least. Um, especially where I'm at in this game. And the item behind him is a good ring, though not one I typically use. Yeah, parrying. Yeah, that's a good way of dealing with him. Um, I think... Uh, yeah, okay. I'll give this guy one shot. I'm gonna see if I can backstab him. And you know, I'm realizing in this moment... I should have put on the gold pine resin as one of my, uh... items so I could add some lightning damage to my attack. If memory serves, he can't climb the ladder. Alright, cool. Uh... Item. Gold pine resin. Come on. Come over here. Let's fight. Let us contend, Wills. And then, let me heal. Because, oh near. Oh, yes! That's what I like to see. Now, that's not what I like to see. Oh. No! Ah, oh, dang it, I couldn't dodge. I didn't have any stamina. Alright, death number one. That's fine. That's fine. That is a perfectly valid guy to die to. Ha. Huh. But. Oh man, the windup is so slow. <laughs> Alright, let's go get my souls back. Um, alright, so that was my first... Oh, wow, you don't normally show up there. Um, that was my first death. So, in case you're new to this game, what happens when you die is that you lose all of your souls that are in the bottom right corner of the screen. And they are dropped on the ground wherever you die. Um, which means that if I come back up here and I can fight my way back to where I died, I can just pick them back up. Yeah, there they are, the green spot. Uh, why do I hear footsteps behind me? That's why. I hear footsteps, and it makes me paranoid. No, don't throw bombs. Come attack me. Perfect. Alright, cool. Got my souls back. Which is good, because I have, you know, a good many. Um, okay. Can I... 
get stabbed in the back by a uh, crossbow. Yes. Yes, I can. Yeah, you go ahead and block. I'm just gonna, you know, get healthy. Then kick you. Break your guard. Dang, I had that Black Knight so close. I thought I had him for sure. That's fine. I said one try. I think I can get him, but I wanna I wanna make some progress on the area, so let us continue that's bad. Yeah yeah yeah, okay, fine. Alright, game, you and your traps. I see you. mistaken there is a crystal lizard up these stairs got it all right fantastic it's these little bugs that uh have upgrade materials uh Twinkling Titanite and Titanite Chunk. Those are high-level upgrade materials. Um, oh, and you probably saw me run past this door. I don't think I can open it. Yeah. Um, behind this door is some stairs that go down a few levels. Um, and then a guy named Havel the Rock, who is very strong. Like, even at the end of the game, I'd probably have trouble beating him, because he just hits like a truck. Um, <clears throat> so I'm probably not going to do it. Through here is a boss. So let's go deal with the boss. But first... Let's deal with the guys that would shoot me in the back with crossbows. That way I can summon the boss and then get above him and plunging attack. Much like we did with the first boss in the Undead Asylum. Or at least that is the goal. We'll see how it works. Taurus team. Or bull. And like, yeah, I understand that. That makes sense. Just be out of the way of that attack. Ow! Let's do it again. Or not. Oh, I didn't think you'd get me on the ladder. Dang. Alright, not having much luck tonight. Not... Not playing my best. 
All right, let's get back there, get my souls, and beat up this boss, because let's be real, nobody likes having a demon in town. Was admittedly a little reckless of me. But we got there. Now, these guys, I'm not sure if they actually come up behind me. So I'm just gonna take care of them. Then I don't have to worry about it. Okay, did that seem like he jumped really far to you? It definitely did to me. Soldier armor. Yeah, that's, that's probably not very good. Come on. There we go. Alright. Did not know he was going to come up behind me. So, you know, that's something. Huh. Could have sworn I saw his eyes through the uh, wall for a second there. Shields stand no chance against my mace of... Whoa, 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 whoa. Alright, that almost was really bad. Uh, yeah, anyway. What was I saying? Uh, crystal lizards do not respawn, by the way. Once you kill them, they are taken care of. Look at that, I got my souls back. I have almost 5,000. And three humanity up in the top left corner. Jumping attack. Wow. That's just very pretty. Look at all that sunlight. Praise the sun. If only I had the, uh, the gesture for it, that'd be great. All right, demon, let us contend. Boss music!
No, that was too far away to come in on that one. That's fine. I can just keep dodging. Almost got gotcha. you. Almost got gotcha. you. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Victory achieved. Praise the sun. Humanity and a homeward bone. Okay. Fantastic. All right, so a uh, homeward bone if you're new, allows me to travel back to the last bonfire I was at. Which is very handy. Like, if I had a lot of souls, which at this point in the game, 7,000 is a lot. Aha! The glow of an item. Um, I could just, instead of being concerned about losing these souls, I could just use a homeward bone, go back, spend them, and then feel pretty confident that I was doing the safe thing and just sort of leveling up. I think this is locked. Yeah. This bridge is dangerous. You might think it's because of all the guys. No, it's... Yeah, you'll see. Don't want to spoil it. Praise the sun. Indeed. And here, here's my favorite. He is ah, glorious. Hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Fener of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead. I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Yes. I always have a moment for my good friend Solaire. Our fates appear to be intertwined in a land brimming with hollows. Could that really be mere chance? But what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yes. It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. Perfect. The white sign soapstone. Strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Essentially, that allows uh, you to summon help for bosses and the like. Um, he is a warrior of sunlight, so he will have a brightly glowing yellow gold sign, whereas normal people are just white. Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. Oh, hello there. If only... Okay, that's the same.
No, still locked. All right. Dragon. He's uh that dragon's a bit of a problem. Gonna cast more fire. No, 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 not that button. Say, I do want to pick up these souls. Dragon doesn't seem. Usually, he's been lighting on things on fire at this point. All right, I want to make a run for that door. So I'm going to try and get back to the bonfire, which happens to be right there, down this conveniently located ladder. All right, rest here, level up. Lot of levels. Um, all right, sixteen, sixteen seems good. Bit more health, bit more stamina. And then, let us attempt to get through that door. Might work. Probably won't. Oh yeah, all of you are back. Let's see, now he feels like laying everything on fire. You didn't do that a minute ago. What gives? Oh, fire. Oh, fire. That's probably my moment to do that, though. Uh, let's see, do I have a shield that's better at fire protection? No. I have ones that are worse. see a bonfire through the doorway.
You know, I could have sworn that wasn't gonna hurt. <laughs> Thought I'd waited long enough. So, in addition to this dragon being a gatekeeper for that, Um, one thing you can do is you can actually come through here with a bow and arrow or a crossbow and shoot that tail. And when you do, you get, I believe it's called the Red Drake Sword or something like that. Alright, I'm gonna make a run for it. Make that. Oh, it's close. All right, so I don't have a bow or arrows. Oh, I have some bolts. Oh, actually, wait. Do I have a crossbow? I think I do. Yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna call it for that episode. We've uh, I've done pretty well. I've I've killed a boss. I've advanced to a next sort of chunk. I've got to get across that bridge, which there's a way other than the dragon. Um, and I uh, sort of have a plan. I think what I'm gonna do off camera because it's sort of boring is I'm going to farm up a few souls, get enough arrows that I can take off that the dragon's tail. Um, and that way I can play around with a pretty cool looking sword. Um, I think it has some cool properties as well. Um, that could be interesting. But uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you want me to use any cool weapons that you have seen me pick up or anything like that. Not, not sure we've gotten any yet. Um, but I will see you next time. Farewell. <laughs>